Hi guys, in this video we are looking at the eye. So let's get started. The white part of our eye resembles a scar tissue and that's why this was named sclera. In the sclera is where we have the six extrinsic eye muscles, the muscles that move our eyeball attaching to. Now in the anterior aspect of our eye, we have this transparent part and this is the cornea. So we have the sclera and when it becomes transparent, we have the cornea. If we remove this, and now we grab this part right here, we can see better the colorful muscle of our eye. And this is what we call iris. Now, in the middle of the iris right here, we have an opening. And this opening is the pupil. So the pupil is not a real structure, the pupil is an opening, okay? And the size of the pupil will increase or decrease depending on the muscle fibers of the iris. So if the iris contracts or relaxes, it will change the size of the pupil. Now, this part right here that is brownish and has a chocolate color is what we call choroid. Now, choroid, you spell with C-H-O at the beginning, and that's why students like to remember the chocolate part is the choroid, so you guys don't get confused on how you should spell choroid. So, the chocolate is the choroid. Now, all the way in the back, we see here this yellow structure, and this is the optic nerve. When we open, we can also see here the optic nerve. Now, I told you that this is the iris, right? And here we have the pupil. The opening is the pupil. And right behind there, here we have the lens. Now the lens needs to change in shape. And the way the lens are capable of changing shape is because we have this muscle right here, which is named ciliary muscle. So you have the lens, and then right here you have the ciliary muscle. Now, all this in the back, all this is the retina. And in the retina, we have a specific spot that we have the highest resolution possible. So this is also the retina. Obviously, here you have the, the ciliary muscle. And when we look in the retina, we can find this specific spot right there. You see there? It's just very very like light pink so very hard to see but this spot right here is what we are calling fovea centralis okay and the fovea centralis is at the center of the macula now the fovea centralis is very very important because it's the point in our retina that we have the highest resolution possible it's an area that we only have cone cells which are the photoreceptors that detect color. That's why they're named cone cells. C-O for cone, C-O for color. The ones that detect, the photoreceptors that detect black and white, they are called rod cells. So remember, we have here the fovea centralis. And in this other model, we can see the fovea centralis better because it is in a purple you see so all this is the retina and then this is the fovea centralis 